goggles are back, and they're here to talk about fanfic. One day, me, Kelly, Michael, Justin, Jennifer, and Nick were walking down to the store. Then I saw a van. It looked like it had a turtle shell on it. I saw it ten times. I said, let's hitch a ride. We came up in the sewer. I said, hi, Leonardo. My name's Allie. I'm with AU Katie and KL when it comes to people finding writing through fanfic. Because I was nine when I wrote that, and I didn't know it was fanfic. I was told to write a story in school, and I might have written about meeting the Ninja Turtles. So I don't think fanfic's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. In fact, for me, I think it's a lot like script writing. I took a class in college, and one of the assignments was that we had to write either a movie script or a spec script. Spec scripts are a script based on a current television show, and a script writer would write the script and send it out and use that script to get jobs. The script that I wrote was on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which I'm a huge fan of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and it was one of the most fun things that I've ever written in my entire writing career. But writing that spec script is exactly like writing a fanfic because I was using characters in a world that I didn't create. All staff TV writers are doing that. The only one who isn't is the person who created the series, but everyone else on staff is writing characters in a world they didn't create. I think writing fanfic is a really good opportunity to learn a lot about characterization and worlds because those things are already created so you can learn a lot about what you know already. Writing a character that already exists means that you can study how that character is created. You can actually build a better original character just by having written one that you already know. Writing in the Buffyverse I already had certain rules established such as if a vampire dies they're going to explode into dust. So I couldn't change that for the script because otherwise it wouldn't be a spec script. But what I could do was focus on some of the other elements. So in my script, for example, I had Xander gain the powers of the Slayer. So what I had to explore was how to get Xander those powers, why he has those powers, because the why is the whole point of the story. If you don't have a why, you don't have a story. Maybe that's why story is spelled with a Y. So in my script, I could focus on the plot and the pacing. I still needed to be aware of the characters in the world, but I didn't have to worry so much about building them. Writing is a collaborative effort. If you're a staff writer, you're writing with another group of people. And if you're a novelist, eventually you're going to work with an editor. But the most important thing is that eventually you're going to have an audience. And the audience is going to bring different things to the table. Everyone views writing, television, movies differently. That's why some people can love and other people can hate the exact same movie. People are bringing their own opinions and personal experiences to the entertainment. That's one of the neat things about writing, about creating and about stories, is that people have different opinions about the same topic. The collaborative nature of writing is one of the best things about it, so I don't have a problem with fanfic. And I, like my fellow dot nerds, would be honored to have someone write fanfic for a world that I created. Because as I said in one of my early videos, I want to be Joss Whedon.